Hey, welcome to a new Project Camp update. So we bought this big piece of land and are prototyping a more sustainable way of living. Not sure how it's gonna go, but let's see. And previously we looked into how do we get water on the land and we had a few options. One, collecting the rainwater or drilling a very deep borehole. And the third option was that we found this abandoned well on the neighbor land. So underneath here, there is a natural spring where they build a well on top and it's not used anymore. So we left it that we should get in touch with the neighbor to see if we can actually use it and clean it up. And he, uh, we got a reply, he said, yeah, you can use it, which is great. So in this video, we're gonna clean it all up to make sure it's actually usable, to double check. And uh, if it is, clean it and install a watering system. And we're gonna start by just cleaning up this area around it, which is fully overgrown to make sure we can access it properly. <laughs> So you might think why we chop down these trees. Two reasons. One is we have a big tractor coming that needs to lift up the lid from the well and put it somewhere. So we need place for the lid and the tractor. Second, our land is full of these trees, which is called a mimosa. And it's a non-native species, so it's not from here. And uh, after the fire, this is the main thing that grew back. But it's not a good tree to have because it takes over and it grows so fast that other trees are not able to come. So the more of these trees we take down, actually the better it is for the region because it helps other native trees to come, like an oak or a chestnut. So, looks rough chopping down all these trees, but should be better in the long run. So as I was cleaning this up, I actually noticed there's a small lid in the lid that I might be able to take off by myself. Let's see. Ooh. So I wasn't aware there was this smaller lid, so I thought we needed a bigger machine to lift up this thing to go inside. But it looks like now I can actually go inside like this. And I'm kind of curious to check it out, so... now touching the bottom. So let me show you how deep this is. So that is about eight meters of full depth. And it's around 380. So the water is four meter 20. So it's now mid of summer, uh, quite a lot of water, which is good. We were actually not sure if the spring would give enough water, but it looks pretty good. So yeah, unfortunately our long ladder is not long enough to actually go in. I would have really liked that, uh, but maybe later. But at this point it's also not really needed because I know how deep the well is and how deep the water is. So I can start working on the pumping system and getting all the parts. Um, and meanwhile, we're still waiting for the guy to come to actually open up the lid and clean the well uh, to take out all the dirt and disinfect it.
So the guy that comes to open up the lid wasn't too impressed with my cleaning job of cutting the trees. So he came with his digger and made a bit more space. Now what took me an hour, he did in like five minutes. A bit rough, but I guess that's how it goes around here. Once there was some space, he opened up the lid. Exciting moment. Also looks a bit scary having this super heavy concrete lid that it doesn't fall into the well. But, and then I had to remind myself, the reason why these things are round, or even manholes in cities, is that a round object cannot fall in the tube. So if they were made square, then it could fall in. So it should all be good. Olympo. Do you limpo? Limpo. Limpo. So I was working on the pump system and it's super hot. And I kept having in the back of my mind, there's a well right there with super cold water. So I was thinking the ladder wasn't long enough, but that is because we put it in the middle. So it needs to reach the lid. But now it's open, so maybe we're able to just put the ladder to the wall. And then we're able to climb down. Because I'm still very curious to see what's on the bottom. So I'm going to give it another try, putting the ladder in and going down there. To be honest, this doesn't feel very solid, but it also feels like what's the worst that can happen? You fall in a bucket of water. I think we should just give it a try. This one is for you, YouTube. Right. All right, time to go. It looks super cool. Okay, a bit dirty. Uh, and on the bottom you can see some very old rocks. So it must mean it's a very old well. And I think here is an overflow tube. And there's some sort of cave down here. Oh. Looks cool, but also... That is chilly! Whoa. This is the scary part. <sighs> so that was super fresh, so I convinced Ian to do it as well. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Ah. This sucks so much. <laughs> oh. Oh. You like cold things, no? Oh. Oh. So now a few days later the guys come to clean the well and first they will empty it with a pump and then they go down in there and the people here work very safe and there's a high risk of fire at the moment because it's very dry so he's smoking a cigarette above a jerry can of gasoline <laughs> okay time to get started And meanwhile the pump is running a few beers to get ready for the job and once the well was fully emptied 
time to go in. And Rita convinced the guy to wear the GoPro we actually got from you guys, thank you, on his head, so we can see what it looks like down there from his perspective. Hey. So finally the well was cleaned and just needed to put the lid back on. Also here, safety first. Yeah. Alright, so the well is now all cleaned up. Uh, we should be able to get the water soon, but we need to let it rest for a few days so uh, the fogginess in the water can settle down. Um, but either way, we still need to uh, set up the whole pumping system and all the tubes and connect it to the containers, which we're going to do in the next video. So if you want to like to see how that's going to go, make sure to subscribe or come back next Monday when the video is released. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.